Good morning, peeps. It's uh, breakfast time. Yeah, and um, it's the diabetic beast here. In this uh, video, um, I hope you like my mug, by the way. This is a reindeer infested mug, printed very beautifully. And it was it, uh, bought at the the big red barn on your way from England um, to Scotland on the M6 and uh, when you get to the A road there's a barn on the left pit stop food cafe and uh, yeah stop by good people and you get souvenirs and things anyways today um, I want to talk about um, uh, insulin and um, the needles do they hurt for most people if you're not scared of needles if you're um, used to needles insulin isn't a huge issue um, for guys like myself who are scared of needles scared of injections you know pins and anything like that I've always been scared of um, vaccinations um, you know, flu jabs, whatever it's gonna be, um, I'll be scared of it. Just, just hated them. So, I think the um, the main thing to uh, remember is that they don't hurt that much, but because you're doing insulin, you're administering the insulin to yourself. There's quite a few precautions you have to take. Um, please don't mind me, by the way. Toast. Um, I've told you what toast this is. This is low carbs. So, yeah, a few precautions you have to take. Don't be thinking that's going to be straightforward. Because you're going to have good days, but you're going to have bad days. Now, the bad days could be when um, the barrel is stuck. Now, when you're trying to click the the pen at the top, um, the needle floppy or bending a bit, injecting injecting at the wrong site on the body, um, injecting too quickly or too slow um, in a bad direction, whether up, down, left or right, or you know diagonally, whatever. Um, it's it jerks as well. Sometimes goes in. <laughs> Um, when you breathe, the, your, if you're doing it on your stomach like I do, you'll bounce out a bit. So again, you've got to hold it and slowly and um, without going too hard and while you're pressing that. Um, yeah, so... Um, I, I get scared of needles and I still am, but I've been doing... This, um, I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Lantis, um, Solar Star, which is your traditional or modern pen. Um, it's got the insulin inside there already attached. Now, this one is 100 mil. Um, the whole barrel holds 100 mil. Um, you've got the numbers at the top there, these are the units um, the actual units, there's per hundred mil, I think there's 260 and uh, you get you, you get uh, needles of different sizes such as this one um, you just you just screw it on you can see the needle inside there it's very fine and yeah, so you, you screw it on like that. It's got a wee rubber thing there, so you you um, press it into that. Very innov innovative, actually, if you ask me. You pull that bit off, and then you can expose the needle um, by pulling the top bit there. There it is. Yeah, sorry, sorry about the the light, actually. Um, let me close the curtains a bit. Okay. 
Oh, it's a lot darker, but <clears throat> uh, better clarity and whatever else. Um, yeah, so this you're instructed by the doctors to inject um, because it's written here. Um, subcutaneous use. So this means fat. So you inject it. I think I think underneath the fat or on the fat. Um, I just accept what they say, like we all do. So in the fat somewhere you inject it in there so you need high fat areas the waist the front of the, the front of the stomach um, the upper the, the lower back on, on top of the uh, buttocks there um, and I think on the thighs on the side of the thighs or th uh, uh, side of your leg <clears throat> and I don't think there's many more places you should be doing these ones uh, on the body um, so once you've, be, be, oh, once you're ready, you actually to actually do uh, do do the injection, you roll um, your units back, depending how many units you're gonna take. So I think that's the, that's um, two. That's three. That's four. That's five. And then I'll show you what happens. I'll get some tissue. I don't want to spray it in my tea, but I'll show you. I'll inject it into paper towel, where you can see it. I hope you got that there. Um, it smells very chemical, and um, yeah. Anyways, yeah. So that's the. This is this is the Lantus Solar Star. This is a known uh, uh, something called uh, long acting, which it mean which means you just do it once in the day, um, usually in the morning, and it can range how many units you take. Some people take twenty. Some people take sixty. Um, I've, I was always prescribed um, when I was diagnosed two years ago about 18 to begin with or 20 um, and after I think a week or two um, they told me to start going down I went down to about 17 16 because this they say I still I can still produce some insulin in the pancreas and at the time they didn't know when I would take the short acting one um, which is a which is a different color to this one uh, you take before every meal but they said it will happen to me eventually so then went down 16 14 units 12 and for the last year of average i've been on about 14 per day um the last three four months i've probably been on about 10 to 12 um the last couple of weeks i've just been taking 11. so this you take once in the morning um and it means long acting so it works as a background insulin during the day and as the clock is ticking, um, it releases slowly and helps you with your carbs uh, management. Um, yeah, so um, this is you know this is the long acting. In another video next, uh, later on, I'll, I'll talk about the short acting uh, one. Um, and yeah, I think the the only other thing I wanted to discuss was. Uh, um, the you know, insulin is what you make it it helps um, and how much of it you actually need all these units I talked about it's not to me it's usually the doctors they'll, they'll tell you um, and it depends for this one mainly um, they give a good number I don't know what, how, how they calculate it in based on weight height and age and things like that but obviously you can't take 10 units if you're gonna still eat the same amount of carbohydrates you used to eat. You're gonna need a lot more units. Um, if you eat two plates of rice, 10 units just of this a day isn't enough. If your sugars have already been high like my ones were. Um, I've talked in other videos, when they diagnosed me, I was on 34 MMO. Um, now on average, I'm, I'm on about 10. Um, yeah, so if you're still eating loads of carbs, the same, the same type of carbs, same amount, you're going to need the short acting one as well, like I did very quickly. Um, they gave me the short acting one within a year or, or, or so. 
because um, they put me on um, glycoside tablets as well on top of this but after about eight months they weren't working as much anymore so they said you're gonna have to start taking the short-acting insulin as well um, and yeah I mean it's it's scary from the beginning it's scary now it's scary when they say you are taking another injection during the day before every meal um, you know especially because I hate hate injections and needles but you got to do what you got to do keep that level down as, as I'm starting to learn the most important thing and you read about it everywhere of uh, of of keeping yourself and your internals healthy on a for a longer period is if, no matter if you've got diabetic or not is keeping your blood sugar ch in check and so if you're diabetic it's even more important that your blood sugar has to be in the range for as long as possible over many years um, you may have fluctuations that's normal but you don't want to be going up and down up and down as well um, you know keep it within the range and if it's too high all the time um, your internals um, muscle tissue body tissue so you get amputations and things like that it can um, happen very quickly blindness um, and if it's too low for a long time you know you'll be collapsing every time and leading to high blood pressure and again you know causing serious heart problems and things like that so yeah so um yeah this is for you guys for myself and for anyone else um as, as we go through this uh diabetic journey um any comments any questions queries what you like comment below and uh, remember to subscribe and um yeah until next time bye bye